cross joint is needed when we have two lifts and everything in A needs to be matched up with everything in B. Doing a cross joint is easy. The hard part is figuring out a practical, useful one, and we're going to do that. So let's do a cross joint, and then we'll look at a practical example and what defines our use of a cross joint as opposed to anything else. Here's our data. We got living room items and colors, and our cross joint is going to match every item with every color. So we will wind up with couch paisley, couch orange blue polka dots, carpet gombage, vase red, ottoman pink, all down the list. We've got a colors query, so let's go ahead and make the items query. From table slash range, here's the items, and we can go straight in and do the cross join. Add column, add custom column. Let's call this pairs equals, and the name of our query, colors. And it is capital sensitive. If we had a capital C in here for colors, it'd blow up on us. All right. Okay. Now expand. I don't want to use this prefix. Okay. Now we see bookcase paisley, bookcase light gray, carpet safety orange. That's exactly what we wanted. File, close and load two. I'm going to put it over here. Okay. But no, no fire yet. There's a problem. I talked with an interior designer about this because she was talking about items and colors and different combinations, and the cross join sounded interesting. But of these 112 combinations, she is not likely to have a safety orange bookcase in the mix. So she would probably have to go and remove over half of these 112 combinations for her a cross join would create different kinds of work. Here is a practical example and a defining factor. Student requirements. To get through this music program, these students have to study four genres and they have a minimum number of hours that they have to study in those genres. Our objective. Show us the students and the number of hours that they have left to complete in each genre. If less owes some hours in dance hall, show us less and the number of hours that he owes. If less has completed all of his time in SOCA, then don't even show me less's SOCA status. Now here is the defining factor. Notice that June has not done anything in Soka Dance Hall or Rap Soul. The six joins in Getting Transformed will not pick that up. They won't pick up data that does not exist. Therefore, we have to do a cross join to match every student with every genre. And then we can find out what each student owes. Let's do it. We've already got the requirements query and the completions query. Now we need a student's list so that we can cross join the students and the requirements so that we can get to our objective. Here we go. In the completed table, data from table slash range. I'm going to remove other columns and then get rid of nulls because we just want a list of the students right now. From here, we can do the cross join. Add column, custom column. Students and requirements. The name of the query is Rex. Okay. Expand the column. We don't need that prefix. OK. And here's our master list. All students matched up with all four genres and the required hours. Loaded to the workbook. Let's name this query requirements. Rename requirements. 
Let's go to the completions query. Edit. Now here is the raw completions data. So we've got to do a fill down so that we get the students in each of these null spots. Fill down. Now we need to group and get a total of the hours. So we're going to group by student and then by style. Group by. Go to advanced. Group by student. Add grouping. Style. We don't care about sessions. Let's do this. Pleated hours. We're going to do a sum of hours. OK. Now we see the four hours that June has studied Rye and the 13 hours that Tony has studied dance hall. Now we have to match the required side up against the actual side. All right. Here we go. Combine merge queries. Merge queries as new because I want to start fresh. I don't want to build on this query that we're in already. Up top, I want required. Okay, requirements. On the bottom, completions. I want to match student and student. Hold down the control key, genre, style. Left outer join. OK, let's expand. We don't need the student name or style again. We do need the completed hours and we don't need that prefix. OK, these nulls actually mean zero. These are the ones that we were only able to access because we did the cross join. Let's replace values to turn the nulls into zeros. OK, this should say completed hours. Let's get rid of that T. OK, close this so we have some room. Now we need a column for the math to show us who owes how many more hours if they owe any. All right, we're going to add a column. Add a custom column. Let's call it owed. Equals and we got to make an if statement. If completed hours is less than required hours, then Required hours minus completed hours. Else zero. OK. And this is exactly what we wanted. Less and wrap so he is five hours over the requirement. He shows a zero because he does not owe anything. Let's filter out anything that's a zero. OK, let's sort this by student. And sort by genre. We don't need the required hours or the completed hours. Remove, remove. This is really what we want. Close and load. Exit. So there it is, y'all. So go ahead, check out some rise, some dance hall, soca and rap so. Make you feel good. Right, so that's it, and I will see you in the next video.